Hi everyone, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert, and in this video we'll be taking a look at some software which I'm personally very excited about, called Audio Design Desk. Now this software is essentially a creative tool which allows you to assign and trigger sounds from your computer's QWERTY keyboard. These sounds such as hits, rises, footsteps, punches, gunshots, or anything for that matter, can be performed in real time while watching your video. Audio Design Desk comes with over 20,000 sounds, all of which have embedded attributes such as genre, mood, intensity and duration, which make it very easy to track lay sounds in sync with picture, and also to replace them with alternatives, while still maintaining sync with the video. So let's take a look at an example. First, I need to create a new project. Now, one interesting feature in this software is that you can import video content directly from YouTube or Vimeo if you want to. So you could, for example, right click in this area, the video window, choose open remote video, paste in a URL of an existing video, click open, and this actually does it very quickly. It pulls it from YouTube or Vimeo and drops it into the project. I'm just going to increase the size of the video window just by dragging this down. And you can see we now have a track that's appeared in the timeline. In this case, there is a waveform because this particular video already has sound. But if you wanted to pull stuff in from YouTube just for practice, this is a good way of doing it. And you can then start replacing it with your own sounds. Let me just mute this and play a section of it. So it works fine, very quick and easy to pull video in from online sources. However, in this case, I'm going to be importing an existing video file, which I already have. So rather than doing it like that, I'm going to right click and choose open video rather than open remote video and track down the file on my hard drive. It's this animated logo. Press return to go back to the start of the timeline and just run this. And that's it, so a really simple project. I should mention at this point that Audio Design Desk does support video in MOV, MP4, M4V and MPEG formats. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this next step really quickly actually because I think that's where Audio Design Desk really comes into its own. So as I play this, I'll press three keys in succession. D for a drone, followed by T for a transition, and then H for hit. So take it back to the start once again. Here we go. Okay, and you can see automatically it's put sounds on the timeline triggered by those keys I pressed. Let's take a listen. Okay, that's not bad, considering it was done in just a few seconds in real time. Now, I think those sounds actually work quite well, but you might want to swap them, and it's really easy to swap all of them if you want. So I'm going to press Command A to select all of them, and then Command R for replace. And straight away, we've got a whole new composition. Let's see what we have. Not bad. Maybe the only one I'm not happy with is this drone, so couple of things. Firstly, it's too long. Secondly, maybe I just don't like it. So to swap it for a shorter duration clip, select it, press command and down arrow, and that'll put in a shorter one. That looks about the right kind of duration. I'm going to take a listen to that. Not bad. And if I then decided maybe I just want to listen to some alternates on this one, press command R. Let's take a listen to this. Very quick and easy to do. Just for the sake of it, I'm going to swap this one as well and just illustrate the fact that you'll notice that's where I press the letter T for transition. And one thing worth noting is that when I swap this sound, it will always use that as the reference point. So you can see that's the point at which this key moment, as in the end of the transient in this case, finishes. And it will always maintain that perfect sync. So Command R. Try it again. Alternative one is in place. I'm quite happy with that. So let's say that this is now complete. Just one final thing before I move on to something a little more complex, and it's the versions tab here. So if I click on this, save it as a new version, I'm gonna call this V1. What that then allows me to do is do subsequent versions and switch between them quite easily. So let's say I just want to substitute every sound again really quickly, Command A to select them all, Command R to swap them. If I was happy with this, save it as a new version, click here, call it V2. And now it's really simple to switch between however many versions you want to work with by just clicking here, choose versions, and then you're back to the previous one. 
Of course, that was an incredibly simple project, just an animated logo of a few seconds. Now though, I'm going to put it to a bit more of a challenging test with a fight sequence. So I'll just create a new project, right click, open video, find the video file that I need, click open. And this is actually a mock-up of a commercial shot by director Matt Rutledge. He filmed it all on an iPhone in an hour. Let's just take a quick look at part of it before we start adding any sound to it. So we've got two guys walking along and then one of them attacks the other and then we've got punches, we've got kicks, we've probably got various different grunt sounds that we want to add in and we'll probably put some sound design in for this bit as well. Let's take it back to the beginning then and the first thing I'm going to do is just add a drone. So I'm going to hit D, that one looks longer than I need. So select it, press command down arrow, maybe that's the right kind of length and let's just see what we've got and also as I go I'm going to hit R and T at the point where the fight begins so remember that's going to trigger a rise and a transition okay about there and I'll just take another quick listen to that That's quite good. Maybe I also want to add a sound design hit, so I'm just going to take it back to this point just after the rise, and then press H. Let's take a listen to that. Quite good. And now I'm just going to add in a couple more rises, hits, and transitions, specifically during this section or at the end of it here. So there, all three, rise, hit, transition, all in one go. Let's see what we've got so far before we start adding in some Foley sounds. Great. Next I want to show you a great feature where you can basically assign sounds to keys on your keyboard and trigger them in real time. So first thing to do is go to the search bar. I want to put the footsteps in for this section. So I'm going to choose footsteps. Remember it comes with 20,000 sounds so there's quite a few to choose from. Footsteps on concrete and he's wearing trainers, sneakers. So let's choose, I'll try sneaker two. Let's take a listen to a couple of these. Okay. They should be fine. So what I'm going to do is right click on one of them, choose a sign trigger for footsteps to number one. And in the trigger section here, you can see that key one has been populated with all of those sounds. So all 16 will be randomly triggered when I hit the number one on the keyboard. So I'm just going to go back to the sequence. And initially, because he actually takes a step at the very beginning, I'm just going to put that one in before I do the others, so I'm just going to hit one there. Now I think I will actually play this slightly slower than real time by hitting the letter L and see what I can do. So I'm just going to start it running and then hit the number one to trigger those footstep sounds. Here we go. Okay. And so we can hear those, I'll just mute the other tracks and see what we've got. That's quite good so far. Of course, we could refine these quite easily later on. Next, I'm going to go back into the search section and I'm going to deselect footsteps and actually choose sound effects. And then fighting, we want to add some of these punches and so on. And you can see it's come up with an array of different sounds, all of which can also be assigned to those trigger keys. So I'm going to choose punch knuckle. Take a listen to those. I quite like them. So right click, assign trigger to number two in this case. And at the bottom, we've got those assigned. Next, I'm going to choose male effort. So I want some of these vocalizations and just right click it and assign this to key number three like that. And now I'm going to do my best in real time to trigger these punches and vocalizations. Wow. 
One more, here's the kick. There. Okay, there's all the sounds. Let's play it back one more time, I'll just run it from here. And I'm actually going to add a rise, a hit, and a transition here. So just by hitting RT and H all together at the same time. And I realise that there is one hit in there that's out of time. But we'll leave it for now and continue. This is really taking shape. And there's another one at the end, actually. Another impact there. Let's put those in. See what we've got. I think we could do with a more forceful hit there, so I'm going to choose this, and over in the Replace tab here, I want to select Intensity 5. Now whenever I replace it, it's only going to find things of that particular intensity. Try that. And I'm just going to really add something else to this. I think there should be an explosion there. I'm going to do it a slightly different way this time. I'm going to press Option G, which brings up this magic marker window where you can actually search for sound. So let's choose explosion okay and it's come up with several results probably more than i really need so i might as well narrow it down i want this to be really impactful so i'm just going to go with intensity let's go with five again and it's narrowed it down quite a bit i'll audition one or two of these tell you what that one's good straight away so i'm going to hit command return it's added that to the timeline and this time when i play it back i've noticed that there's a logo at the end which could do with the transition so when i get to that i'll just hit the letter t once again there. So I think this is probably a good point to take a listen to it overall, see what we've got. Although actually maybe we should just add some music at the point where the fight starts. So from here, if you hit the letter Z, Z on the keyboard, it comes up with music. Now in this case it just so happens that it's chosen action. You know what, I like that so I'm not going to bother changing it. I'm just going to turn it down in level a little bit and then run it through from start to finish. Obviously, I've been explaining this as I've gone, so it's taken a little bit more time than it perhaps could. I think with just a little bit of practice in Audio Design Desk, you could get really quick with it. I see myself using this within the context of a Pro Tools workflow where I probably do some initial sound design in this software and then port it over to Pro Tools for the final touches. I'll talk more about that in a minute, but in the meantime, let's just run it through from start to finish. Keep an eye out for that out of time punch. And you know what, I think that music could be a little bit shorter, but I'm quite happy with the piece, so I just want to really time stretch it or time compress it into the space available. So fortunately, there is a time stretch tool. Select it, trim this down, select the end of it. Where do I want it to end? I want it to end pretty much on the impact. And I'll just run it one final time from here and maybe just turn the music down a little bit more, actually. <coughs> Okay, so there's still some sounds to add there, you know, if I go through it, there's things like the um, some more of the fight sounds, the sound of him impacting on the metal gate, maybe another footstep there, and uh, just a few other little bits and bobs. We could do that in Audio Design Desk, so we could go over here and search and add them into the timeline manually, or as I mentioned, perhaps you want to finish and mix it in Pro Tools. That would be my personal preference, and you can do that by going to the File menu and choosing Export AAF. So that's an initial overview of Audio Design Desk. 
I've been very impressed with it. I think it's really great software. And I'll tell you what, last year I worked on a feature film which had several fight sequences in it. It took me a very long time to track lay that film using just Pro Tools. If I'd had this to use alongside it, the whole process would have been considerably quicker. Keep an eye out soon for the follow-up video where I'll be delving into some more of the features of Audio Design Desk, along with the AF export process, to then port this sequence over into a Pro Tools session. Thanks for watching.